I've always drawn and stuff, even from a young age. And I, d I didn't start tattooing until I was... I had a friend who used to tattoo myself and uh, basically I used to have a different business and I chose to leave that business and my friend said, why don't you come and work with me on the counter for a couple of weeks? So I need someone to cover and I ended up staying for three years doing an apprenticeship. I never left the shop in those three years. I love doing traditional work. I love the simplicity of it. I love how it looks over a long period of time. In 30 years, it's still gonna look the same. Big, thick lines, dark shading, bold colors, or even black and gray. I just love how it looks. It just looks, it's just clean on the body, and every little piece can tell a story, you know? That's with any tattoo. The old school generation of Malta, particularly one, this is where we live, so this is why I'm speaking about it. I suppose they remember the days when Straight Street used to have a bad reputation on the sailors that had tattoos and they used to steal their daughters and fight in and cause trouble. So I suppose they're remembering that. Tattooing's been around long before that. It's, it's just a shame that, I suppose it's a shame that stigma's there, but it doesn't make them bad people judging other people, it's just how it is, you know. If it's something traditional, I just usually see the design when I'm speaking to the person. If it's something more of a, what I might say, spiritual connotation in the sense that it might have some symbols attached to it, or, or I don't know, if I feel the desire to maybe do a meditation, I might, it's on opportunities, I do come down the cave sometimes and do a meditation and go upstairs and do my drawings. Meditation is something that you can do anywhere, in everything you do. Tattooing is a form of meditation. I don't think about anything when I'm tattooing. If you did, you'd find it hard to do properly. Disconnecting. Even the word spirituality, as soon as you say that to somebody, they just like create this image in their mind. I, I just think it's just about finding a place of peace and just being at one with your surroundings and one another as much as you can be. Everyone's got a different way of finding something. It's not for me to say how everybody else, what everybody else's way is. I can only speak for myself, really. What, how my experiences have brought me to. Some people say you need to sit in this low position, or you need to do this, or you need to do that. I think it's just, just be, be comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. Ground yourself. Feel connected to the earth. Concentrate on your breathing. Breathe slow and deep and relax. You'll feel your whole body relax and then you won't feel separate from the earth that you're connected to. You'll feel part of it and you'll feel it breathing with you. Your head will be filled with loads of thoughts. Our, our brains never stop thinking. Just information, 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 looking at devices, stuff going through your head. Meditation's about, those thoughts will never stop, but it's, allowing those thoughts to pass through instead of holding on to them when you think about them. Just to clear them, just let them, to be a veil to let them go through and to a point where they stop coming. If you are spiritual, it's not something you do, it's like you said, be. Just be true to yourself and the people around you. Just stay out of your head so much. I believe any 
greater source would not judge us. He always give, he would give us free choice to make our own decisions. Otherwise, there's no room for us to evolve as a human. We'd just be evolving on somebody else's set of rules, not our own experiences. The only thing I choose to try and move forward with at this point is to find peace within and just to try and be a better person on this planet and help the people around me and more and more each day as much as I can. We're all here struggling, we're all making the same mistakes, we're all struggling to achieve the same goals, just to create a better life for ourselves. Each day do one good thing to help one other person. Do something out of the, out of the ordinary, help another person every day of your life, just to do something really simple and see that smile on their face and that smile will grow.